As he begins on the things that we are to think on, meditate upon, evaluate, consider, take to heart, live by, he begins with the word true. That is, that which is real or that which is genuine. We're not about that which is false or fake. We're not to give ourselves to that which is not real. We are to consider, think on that which is true. That which is merely deception leads us to be deceived. That's why so much of society today is deceived, are they not? Most people you meet are deceived people. They think that more money will give them genuine happiness. They are deceived, aren't they? They think that someone else, a relationship with someone else, a marriage to someone else will make them happier. They are deceived. They think that another vacation is exactly, and again, I have no problem with vacations. <laughs> On time to time, we need them. I'm not saying. But they think that real happiness stems in those things. They think that by alteration of the body, they will be happier. So we'll go to the plastic surgeon and we'll make a few adjustments here and there, tummy tucks and so on, because it will make me happier. Does it? So many decisions, so many perceptions, so many things that people take for granted and they're deceptions. They're not true. It's not true that by getting rid of your wrinkles, you'll be happier. It's not true. It really isn't. It's your, just your perception. It's how you view them. It drives me mad to see people get upset about things like that. I mean, really, let, let, let's, let's keep things in perspective. Thank God we get to the stage where we have wrinkles. How many others are cut down before they ever have wrinkles? And if they could switch places, would they not? Of course they would. How selfish, how narcissistic our society is. <laughs> 